Growing an audience on Twitter can be extremely difficult if you don't have the right strategy in place. But building an audience and growing on Twitter could be one of the best investments that you can make for your career, job opportunities, for networking, and to genuinely put you in a position to be seen as a thought leader. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you step-by-step -step how to grow an audience from literally zero to a thousand followers and do it in less than seven days. And this is all done organically, no botting, no paid retweets, or any of that shady stuff. You want an audience that engages with your content Content, that actually shares and appreciates your stuff and one that you can monetize in the future. Now, the first step is research. You're gonna to wanna to pick five to 10 people who you want to model your Twitter profile after. Check out what their profile looks like, what their banner says, and what it is they talk about and how often they talk about it. You'll see most accounts tweet between three and five times a day, and they'll post one or two threads a week. It all depends on how fast they want to grow. If you can see what's working already, then there's a good chance that it's gonna work for you as well. The next thing that you need to do is making your own profile. Get a strong profile photo, a clear banner and a great bio. Say what you do or what you have done or what you're gonna do in the future and make it clear and make it simple for them to understand what they're getting in for if they follow you. You need to tell people what to do and if you want them to follow you, you should ask. Every single person that goes on your profile is an opportunity to get a follower. So of course it makes sense for you to maximize that opportunity. Now the trick when you have a low follower account is to be clear, not clever. People's time is precious and if they jump on your account and have no idea what it is you do, you're gonna lose them. And if you can, get a link in your profile. It needs to tell us a couple of things. What you talk about, what credibility you have, and then a call to action, which could be to follow you. Now the pin tweet needs to be value packed. It needs to have some good information in it. Could be about you, could be about services that you provide. Whatever it is, it needs to be valuable and give people a solid reason to follow you. The next thing that you need to do is tweet. Now everybody sucks when they start tweeting. After a couple of weeks on Twitter, you'll start to see things that do well and things that don't. You're gonna wanna get a good mixture of types of tweets so that you're not just giving everybody the same thing all of the time. Mix it up with content that's engaging, you could have content that sells, and you can have authority or competency tweets where you're actually showing people that you know what you're talking about. If you know what you're talking about and you can display that on the timeline, then there's a good chance that people are gonna see you as an authority in your niche. Now the next step is to grow the amount of people that you actually follow. The best way to do this is to make a list. So pick 50 people that you know that are creating something every single day. Once you've added that list, you're going to go through each of them and set up a notification bell. If you hit the bell in the corner, you'll know exactly when they tweet so that you can be the first person there to write them a comment. If you're the first person there to comment, there's more likelihood that people are going to see your tweet. And if they see a tweet, they might click on your profile. And if they click on your profile, they might just follow you. So the next step is a mindset thing. If you think about YouTube, it's knowledge transfer through video. If you think about Twitter, it's knowledge transfer through text. So if you can convey that you know something about a topic through words, then you're on the way to getting somebody to follow you. Give, give, give is the way on Twitter. You've got to give away your best secrets if people are gonna follow you. Now it's a key thing when you deliver that knowledge that it's gotta look good. Because if it reads well and looks good, then the knowledge is transferred easily. Now the other mindset trick is that you need to get out of thinking that you don't have anything to share. So many people don't create because of imposter syndrome. There are always gonna be people ahead of you that know more than you and the experts in the field, but there are thousands of people just behind you who you could benefit by just sharing what you know. Next step is DMs. Now you respond to every single DM that you get, no matter what it is. You want people to support you and being on social media means being sociable. This goes for comments as well. If somebody has taken the time out of their day to write a comment, then you should take the time to respond to that. Remember that you're communicating with a person, so respond like a person. Now the next step is a bit of a growth hack for 2023. Now the auto DM feature is a powerful function in Hype Fury. All you need to do is put a tweet out there that says, I got this free resource. And if you want that resource, all you need to do is re tweet, like, and share it with your audience. What that's gonna do is it's gonna give people an incentive to retweet. And if they retweet it, more people are gonna see it. It's that simple. Now the auto DM function is completely automatic. So even if it's retweeted thousands of times, Hype Fury will send a DM thousands of times. And if you're sharing something of value, there's a good chance that people are gonna follow you as well. We know people in the Hype Fury cohort that have done this trick and jumped a thousand followers in less than 30 days. Now the next step is you wanna be replying to at least 20 people a day. If you're replying to people's tweets, there's a likelihood they're gonna reply back. And what that'll do is it'll 
that'll send it back into the timeline so that their audience will see it as well. The next step is writing threads. All a thread is, is a series of tweets and people have exploded their account just from threads alone. Now in Hype Fury, there's a whole section called Create that gives you inspiration for thread hooks. The thread hooks are already in there because they went viral before. Now you can reuse that thread hook, change it ever so slightly so it's your own and you know that it's already gone viral so there's a good chance that it's going to do well again. Not only can you get ideas from Hype Fury but the thread will look great on the timeline because you'll already see the structure inside the platform. And in High Fury, you can also add a thread finisher to instruct your audience on what to do next, which could be to follow you, share your thread, or get them to go to your email newsletter. Now, the next step is analytics. Now, if you have a look in your analytics and double down on the things that do well, now you know that your audience likes that content. So if you give them more of it, there's a bigger chance that they're going to like it and retweet it again. The more you tweet and the longer that you're on the platform, the more data you've got. Now, the next step is frequency of tweets. Now, this doesn't matter so much when you have a low follower account because not many people are seeing your tweets. But if you're at 500 to 1,000, you're going to want to keep an eye on this and space them out between two and three hours. Because if you write a tweet and then you write one just after, you're going to use all that engagement up. Now, the final and most important step is engagement. Engagement is your way to a thousand followers as quick as possible. The reason for this is that when you tweet with a hundred followers, you're barely going to be seen on the timeline. But if your comment goes underneath an account with hundreds of thousands of followers, there is a massive chance that that audience is going to see your tweet. And if it's a good tweet, they'll go to your profile. And if it's a good profile and we've done the earlier steps, then they're potentially gonna follow you. A great way to structure an engaging comment is to do a number of things. You could talk to them like a friend, as if you are, because you are making friends. Or you could add to the conversation with your own expertise. For examples of this, go to an account with a big audience and check out the comments underneath their tweets. You'll see some of the good ones with the biggest engagement. And over a period of time, you'll get used to doing good, valuable comments. But if you only engage with big accounts, then it's very difficult to actually establish relationships. Pick a number of medium-sized accounts, accounts around your follower range. Bonus points if they're a creator too, because they're also trying to grow and you can help each other by liking and replying and retweeting each other's content. Now, if you're going to set up a habit of engaging, you need to do it every day. A good rule of thumb is to do around 20 to 30 replies every single day. Remember, tweets aren't as important as engagement and comments when you first start out. Now, everybody gets to a thousand followers at their own speed. Some people never get there at all, but if you stick at it and keep learning, you'll get there someday. I know you know exactly how to go from zero to a thousand followers organically on Twitter. And if you want to get to a thousand followers quicker, don't forget to click the link in the description, hypefury.com. And if you want to know more about Twitter for Business, I suggest you click on this video right here.